Welcome back to another Saturday Night Live stream. And uh, tonight, having uh, this older pizza pasta here from 2012. Menu number one, uh, like I said, pizza pasta. That Bob did give this to me. I assume it's still complete. Uh, at some point, though, it got ripped open or cut open. I assume cut open. I don't know. I just figured... I'm not going to review this, not going to be able to review this, it, use it on the live stream. And this is fitting because, of course, it's French-Canadian. It comes from uh, blah, 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 what, Quebec. Yes. Good old Quebec. It's nice and cold right now. I'm going to move it off to the side here so it doesn't sweat all over everything. And I have a box here that I need to mark an address out on that uh, that Gabriella sent. Hello, Miss Marilyn and Dub C. What's up? Let me see here if I can get this old address marked out here. Oh, yeah. So, Mark is doing, doing the trick. Sometimes I remember to do this beforehand and sometimes I forget. <clears throat> Most people really wouldn't care <laughs> if uh, if you put their address up here, but some do, and uh, I try to take that precaution at all times. Okay, got it marked out. Oh, that marker smells awesome. It's one of those king size. <laughs> that smell. I, don't know, I guess it smells like paint. I don't know. Hey, what's up, Karsten? I see Miss Marilyn's here. Dub C's here. Uh, da, 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 da. Off World Adam. Hello. That's a new name for me. Mrs. Gale. Hello. What's up, Chris? See Karsten there. Who else is in here? B Temple. What's up, dude? <laughs> if you guys don't care to uh, smash that up or down thumb button, thumb thingy. Uh, be much appreciated because uh, Google loves it when you do that. The algorithm eats it up. We got a Pepe. <laughs> you put a Pepe sticker on there. That's cool. I ain't seen Pepe in a minute. It's a pretty vintage internet meme there. So, as you can see, you guys know uh, Gabe Rilla. Gabe is a big vintage drink drinker and uh this box is marked with liquid per well, i guess it also is a sticker for perishables but has the liquid marked on there so let's just get right into this box i'm not going to waste any time here holy cow these boxes are always so glued oh smash the pizza pasta pasta in the in the process Looks like uh, Josh McCuga is doing a live stream right now as well at the Good People's Association channel, which I think is Josh's old channel that he changed the name on. I don't know that for sure. I think that I did figure that out at some point, so, but I could be wrong. So I opened the Pepe in. Is that like stuck on there? Or did he just tape it on there? Let's see if I can get it off of there. Hmm. Could I perform surgery and remove Pepe? Probably not. I don't know. I'm not going to waste the time right now. I'll try it later. And I'll put it on my wall somewhere. Well, not on the wall, but somewhere here. Okay. Box is open. My camera looks so low. Hang on a second, guys. I gotta fix fix my camera up a little bit here. That leg is uh, giving me troubles. Okay, looks a little better. I need to twist this a little bit. Man, my camera is all off, or my holder is all off kilter. Right. I should be able to tilt it up some, and yeah, that's 
better, I think. Let me see what the back looks like there. Uh, not quite, still. Turn it a little bit more. Let's see what that looks like. Yeah, still getting the uh, corner in this shot. That looks good. Looks good, looks good, looks good. That looks like a note right there. So let me pull that out of there. Let's see what we got here. Oh, he did tell me uh, one thing that he's sending in here. And uh, it's, it's not only expensive, but it's also quite interesting. Uh, you guys will see here in just a second. So, to, to Potato Jamie. <laughs> so, my name's Jamie. Uh, just most of you guys probably don't know that. Uh, the two glass bottles are from the 50s. The dates are on the numbers embossed on the bottoms. Uh, the press button can is, oh yeah, forgot to put the press button can in though, which is, uh, it's all good, which he'll send it eventually. Uh, next, uh, the, the whiskey is very rare, uh, sold in Japan to only box vendors, box tender, vendors, vendors or tenders, one or the other. Uh, they sell for like 200 bucks. He said he doesn't drink whiskey. Uh, you'll have to let me know if it's any good. So, hope all is well. And, uh, love you, Gabe. <laughs> so, read the whole thing. <laughs> I guess typically I would have left that last part out. But why not? All right. Oh, I'm off on the chat here. Sorry, guys. Oh, real quick, while I'm uh, thinking about it, tomorrow's live stream for the Ration Museum will be probably at 5 o'clock. I don't know, but uh, you know what? I'm going to go in the chat right now on this video and going to post a link, maybe. Yeah. Well, yeah, I didn't mean to hit send on that, but that link that I just put up there is for tomorrow's live stream. If you guys want to set a reminder for that or anything cool like that, that'd be awesome for you guys to show up tomorrow. And I'm going to make a really quick post about this live stream because YouTube hates to notify any of my subscribers of anything that I do anymore. Yes, I, I, I talk crap about YouTube because they they hate me or something. I don't know. Let's see. Create a post real quick. And, of course, the live stream had to kick out real quick. And I lose, I don't know, anywhere between three, three to five. And, of course, okay, check this out. So, I'm clicking on a thumbnail here that I made. And this is the message that I get. Aspect ratio exceeded. This image exceeds the aspect ratio limit. Upload the... Upload an image with an aspect ratio between 2 to 5 and 5 to 2, or whatever ratio, 2, 5, 2, whatever. It will not let me, oh, gosh, yeah, that, that just burns my rear end. So, I'm going to have to set that there, and that there, and I'll take a real quick pick, and go and make a post this way. It has to be like a, it, it can't be something that, I, like I downloaded that because I didn't take that picture with this camera <clears throat> and I didn't make that thumbnail on this one. So, uh, it's weird. I don't know. This is the only phone that I have that it does that. Live right now, folks. Come join the chat. It's kooky. See, uh oh. Come on, what is wrong with my. Something wrong with my keyboard. It's been messing up. Okay, I think it's good. Post. And sorry, guys, for the delay. Let's set that down there. Okay. Oops, oh, see, that's what I was talking about. It's sweating all over the place. I knew that was going to happen. Been having 
issues with thumbnails too. Had to make them smaller in my case. Yeah, I, dude, I've even tried making them smaller and uh, uh, taking the resolution down, and it just it doesn't matter what I do. It will not upload a thumbnail that I make. And I, if I download it off of like, because I uploaded those on Slack and swapped them over and downloaded them onto this phone. It, I, and I do this stuff, and I've emailed them to myself. I've done everything. I went back in. I've changed the aspect ratio. I've done that. It still won't let me upload them, no matter what. So here we have a box with some items wrapped in bubble wrap in it. Let's see what we have here. One. Everything seems to still be intact. I don't see any, any liquid in the box, which is a great sign. So Gabe, if he isn't in the chat right now, he probably will be shortly. So let's see here. Start here. And uh, this is something that uh, I've only done a few of. Well, actually, maybe none. I don't know that I've ever drank. Well, yeah, I have. I don't know if I've done it on the live stream, though. I've drank a few old bottled beers, but I haven't drank... Uh, drink any on a live stream I don't think I think they've all been off live stream so let's get these prepped and ready to unwrap okay alright let's see what we got here I didn't cut enough killer coffee that uh, Blindside hooked me up with over here. Alright. Ooh. Ooh, my goodness. What is that? Your, your Rosa? Look at... That is not... That is not a light beer. What in the... Oh, my God. It's not chunky. Um, it's still carbonated, which is... A great sign. Looks like some has evaporated, I would say. I'd say it probably was full up to about right there. So, I mean, we've lost two and a half to three, probably two, two, two and a half inches of depth there. And my gosh, is that, that is very dark <laughs> for a, for a light beer here. Eurosa is a Bavarian style beer brewed in the <clears throat> United States from the or, or, a, or I don't know what. Oh, original Bavarian formula. Sorry. <clears throat> Made of the choicest imported hops, selected malts and grains. Ebling Berg, Eb Ebling Berg Company, New York. Wow, that is that's an interesting one right there. That'll be a fun one. Uh. I can already, I can just imagine what that's going to be like. Although it'll be different because it's a bottle. Ooh, what do we have? This is similar, right? Old style? Look, that's a lager. Like, this is supposed to be a light. Should look like, you know. I mean, it is lighter. But this is a lager. And this is old style. I've had old style cans before. Uh, I don't have any on hand right here, but I have had a couple old style cans, I believe. I love the little scenery that they have going on on there. Yeah, somebody. I don't know what's going on. What is going on over here? Like a toga party? <laughs> They're cooking something? Uh, they got. I don't know what that is. If that's beef or. What they got hanging there? Pork, maybe? Might be pigs. It's definitely a bigger animal. You got a, some yak or cow pulled wagon with a guy on it there. That's that's super cool. The old, you know, those are huge wooden kegs. Right there, they're taller than the people laid on their side. That's really cool. What's this label look like? What is that, like the moon or something? Really weird colored moon? That's awesome. Yeah, those are going to be cool. 
I, I envision this one probably not being too bad, even though it's like not what I would typically like. But judging by the way it's aged compared to this one, this just looks really thick to me. But it is very well carbonated, though, still. This one is also still carbonated. See, that's what I like about bottles. Typically, they'll stay uh, nice and sealed and carbonated unless the lid starts to rust away up underneath there. It gets wet up in these ridges. And then uh, a lot of these older bottles will have a cork center. And that cork, if it gets, like, straight water in it, I guess, I don't know, it'll, it'll start to rot away. And uh, I don't see any particles at all floating around in there, though, which is pretty cool. I can't tell if that's got a cork top on it or not. He did say these were from the 50s, I believe, did he, didn't he? Let's see. So it's, oh, yeah, look at that. 1950 on that one. Holy cow, that's an old one. So that'd be 71 years old. Jeez. Yeah, that one's also 1950. Wow. 70, wow. That's awesome. So this is a big old wide package. Double package. Awesome. Good job, Gabe. Gabriel. Alright, I guess I gotta break the knife back out. Pressed a little bit too hard. Oh, look at that. Jupiter. Blended whiskey. What's that say? Does that say a rare? Old blended whiskey is the namesake of the Supreme... Something of ancient Rome. Deity? Is that what that's supposed to be? Who had the life... I don't... I, I'm not going to try to read that. But, I do believe he said this is Japanese. Let me look at that note real quick. Yes, Japanese. And there was only certain ways that you could get this. And he said one of these... One of these bottles sell for like 200 bucks now. Just wiped it off real quick on the side. Yeah, I'm not going to leave the dust on the top there. My fingerprints all over the sides of it though. I don't know. Ooh. It's an interesting label too. Nice little ribbon on top. 1972 I'll bet. Nope, that's a T2. That's an 11 over there. Huh. Did he say how old this was? I th think you can pretty well round these down to a decent age. Uh, yeah, thinks it's from the 70s, so it probably is 72. That does say T2 on it, though. But yeah, that put this at being, I'd say this is at minimum probably right around 50 years old. And it was probably old when it was bottled. So, set that there. What do we have here? That would be, I mean, we got like, let's see, 140, just call it 140. 170 years worth of, if you add up how old all these are. But just one, one of these bottles right here, 71 years old. That's crazy. Crazy old. I do. I was just thinking about that, though. I have in there another, uh, well, it, it is a can, but it's a cone top can that he sent me that I, and I've got to make a video on. I think I'm just going to make a short video on it and, like, I don't know, do like a four-minute, five-minute video, explain some of the history of the company, and try to drink the thing. I hope that it's still sealed, but I don't know for sure because with those old, hard, I mean, it's a very thick steel can with that cone top. You can't tell if it's got any give or not because it's so thick. The metal's so thick anyway. <clears throat> so, uh, yeah, the last cone top beer that I opened was for the show.
that's that's twice it's kicked me out but the, yeah the last one i opened we dumped it out into a glass uh, i can't remember the the brand right off the top of my head we had four different era beers of that brand and I had a great story with one of the sealed uh, bottles of beer that we had and we dumped that 1942 cone top beer into a glass and about 15 20 minutes after we dumped it into that glass it turned bright green in color it was the strangest thing i'd ever seen and that was after i'd already drank it so uh when i first drank it it looked kind of like this i would say similar to that i mean it was, it was a darker in color but it turned this bright bright green color similar to that color right there except a little bit brighter actually so very interesting uh okay super chats guys man thank you guys for the super chats uh it's very much appreciated so dub c came in with one said oh old smoky those are some awesome bottles yeah they are man i'm super fortunate and super humbled by the fact that anyone would send me anything like this gabe's one of my friends and uh he's been super generous with hooking me up with old vintage drinks and stuff that especially like the ones that he didn't want anymore he hooked me up with those and uh yeah man thank you so much for that super chat dub c and then i saw another one come in after that which was i'm into pain says hey smoky how's 2021 treating you well thank you i'm into pain uh 2021 has been different different than uh the the previous years have been in my opinion i think uh 2021's been fine and uh there's a pretty cool project that could possibly happen that i can't wait even if i don't end up being involved in it it's going to be great for the community i think i hope uh can't wait to tell you guys about it it's pretty big um and i think you guys you guys will be stoked once you get to hear about it uh but unfortunately right now i'm not allowed to tell you about it so eventually i will be but, uh, yeah, right now I just can't. So, do I have room to set these? I guess, I mean, this this could stay in the shot, I guess, right? Okay. So, this one, this is, uh, this is interesting. Because, look at that. That is definitely mold. Um, I've never seen beer mold. Not to say that it can't. Maybe it can. Uh, that or there was something else on this can that promoted mold growth that uh, I've just, it's so interesting to see. And we had this when Gabe was in, when he when he was here. And, uh, or maybe we had another one that was worse than this and it got drank because we sat down and drank a bunch of them together. That, that video will end up being on his channel we went out to uh, the gun club here near my house and uh, went through shooting some some different targets and stuff. And uh, afterwards, we filmed a video of drinking some vintage stuff. And uh, I can't remember if this is the one and, and we passed on it or what. But, uh, I mean, I'm going to be opening it from the bottom anyway, which that's not looking much better. But it does look better Did that just fall off okay no it didn't this thing is nice and cold and i didn't want to scrub it down before i showed you guys what was going on on top of this thing because uh i don't know that it's still sealed i don't think that it is so i think it's probably going to be i think it's probably going to be pretty bad i just thought it's pretty fitting for a you know quebec montreal pretty uh staple brew to go along with uh with this older imp here oh man i really don't want to drink it out of a glass uh i do better when i don't have to look at it <laughs> i'm gonna go scrub the bottom off real quick like and then uh and then we're gonna open this thing up so be right back
Okay. I left the top the way it was, but I did scrub the bottom the best I could. Still got a lot of rust on there, but a little bit of a little bit of suds on there too. Oh man! All right, let's just get to it. Quit stalling. Do do the dang thing. Ooh. I think my can opener is worse than the can. Which I haven't scrubbed these can openers either. Uh, figure what's the point. Alright. Uh, I do figure, I was going to try to look up some more info on this. This is either going to be from the mid to late 50s or I would maybe late 60s. So it's at minimum 50 years old. Like it's at least 50 i'm going to guess it's probably older than that though just judging by the way the can feels and looks but it could be um it could be 50 but i think it's probably closer to 60 to 65 years old but uh let's just let's hope for a nice hiss here come on give it to me <laughs> Ugh, good god Ugh. Nope. Dang it. Not even a little bit. <sighs> well, that sucks. Uh, I've had these where I could drink them before. And I've also had these that uh, literally made me want to puke. So, which one is this one going to be? I don't know yet. Um, I'm not seeing too many particles yet. Well, maybe I'm wrong. Yeah, that's looking pretty thick. And when you flip it over like this, it doesn't matter. The, the solids go to whichever's the bottom. Um, you know, gravity just does its thing, and pressure in the can, and just the buoyancy of the items or non non buoyant items so I guess oh yeah look at that that's very similar in color except this has got a whole lot more crap floating in it if you guys can see that give it a smell uh, that actually doesn't smell too awful bad to be 100% honest um, it's got a little bit of a tinge of, like, that skunky scent, but, uh, you know, not, nothing too bad, actually. So, let's, uh, this one's definitely going to have some solids down towards the bottom. up later Whew. Sebastian dude I'm not putting you up there because you'll just bite me it, it really doesn't have that pungent smell that I've smelled in so many others that I've opened up that just like take your breath away this one's I wouldn't call it pleasant but I wouldn't call it unpleasant so borderline is what I'm going to call this one. I did provide a link about 10 minutes ago, maybe 15 minutes ago to the live stream, the museum live stream tomorrow. Come visit us. Come and hang out in the live stream chat. Uh, nothing else because I'm drinking this. Just come and hang out. Wow, look how shiny. Anyway, here we go. Down the hatch. Stop delaying and just Why is it so difficult to just get started? Nope. <laughs> oh, wow. That gave me cold chills. Pick him up. Oh. I don't think I can do it. Wow. It 
man. Be a disappointment. Being cold makes it worse. It really does. Probably about right there. It's it's bitter, very metallic. Way way too like smooth, I guess. Like I don't know how to I don't know how to put it. Not smooth, but it should have some sort of bite to it, and it just doesn't has nothing like that so I don't know uh, I just need to finish it <coughs> I'm done it's like that much left in it maybe like to the bottom where my fingers at so it's very very little bit oh nope oh. I hope I missed the super chat okay got you miss Marilyn thank you Super chat. Let me find it. Water says, hey, Smokey. Your bravery deserves a reward. Well, thank you, man. <laughs> I appreciate that. Uh, yes. Uh, it, it's not. Uh, that was nasty. Very. And that's probably top, definitely top five. Maybe even higher than that. Of some, if, some of the worst I've had ever. Definitely hitting the top of the charts because that was really bad although i did have one on a live stream that i just i could not drink it made me gag uh trying to swallow it that one i think it being cold helped me swallow it but it made it taste uh excuse me wow worse uh but i appreciate that molder oh all right so uh what else was, was it? Um, I don't know. I can't even remember what I was doing. Let's see what's in this thing that I got from Bob at uh, at, he, at Minotaur. He hooked, whenever I went there a while back, he hooked me up with this. I'm gonna have to pull at least a couple of these staples, or they're gonna be poking me in the hand. Alright, that one's fine. That one's fine. Okay, alright, let's do this. Get those out of the way. Oh, yeah, that was gross. Very, very, very metallic. Uh, beyond, beyond the usual. So, uh, nine-year-old pizza pasta. I can remember the first time I had pizza pasta, and it was actually really good. I didn't think I was going to like it, but it turned out to be really good. Okay, so we got fruit punch sports drinks in here. Looks like one. Well, 
Maybe a little bit compromised right there. I see a little bit of red. Dr. Utiker, Utker, Canada Limited. Dr. Utker on Drew Road. Why couldn't he have a normal name like Drew? <laughs> All right. So those are both Fruit Punch, right? Yep. So two Fruit Punch sports drinks. Here we have, ooh, we got a package of hot sauce. The, the packaging doesn't look very vintage to be 2012. It didn't, change, it didn't change a whole lot here. Here we have our Pembroke, right? Pembroke Eddie Match. Eddie Match from Pembroke, Ontario. And these are, ooh, some like, uh, I guess like a light pink, pastel pink, and uh, brown sticks. Ooh, some instant coffee. Cafe Instant, packed by Ropac Incorporated. Jacob Hallenberger, sir, I would kill to try that one. Which one, the hot sauce or the, the, the whole ration? Thank you for that super chat, dude. I appreciate that, man. It's been a while since I've seen you in the chat there. Oh, that's a 2.4 gram net weight there, too. So that'll make a nice cup of coffee. Uh, here's our little wet wipey. Yes, man. Thank you so much there, Jacob. And everybody else who sent in a super chat. I'm into pain sending the big super chat there of 20 bucks. I'm into pain killing it with the super chat. Um, Dub C also, right? Wasn't it Dub C that started it out? I think. I'm just trying. It's let me scroll way back, which is unusual. Usually doesn't let me do this. Okay, I just, yep. Dub C started it out. And then I'm into, I'm into pain, right? Yep. I'm into pain. Come in. And then. Boom, boom, boom. Who was next? Who was next? Can't remember right off the top of my head. And wow. It's really letting me go through the chat. Oh, Mulder. Mulder 13. Came in after that. And now Jacob came in. Thank you, all you guys. Here's our little fancy pack of sugar. Or sucra. Sucra. I don't know how to say that in French. Never took French. Never took a foreign. Oh, no way. Look at that. Two instant coffees. That is awesome. Surely that's not right. Am I supposed to? I'm not supposed to have two instant coffees, am I? Miss Sharon came in with a super chat. Didn't even type anything in. Thank you, Miss Sharon, for that super chat. Yeah, thank you guys so much for the super chats. I think I might have mentioned that last time that the super chats are much more helpful now than probably ever so i really do appreciate it guys here's our peanut butter and that's a 28 or nope it's a 20 gram pack so it's a pretty small pack and a lot of times i get these older ones and they, they've leaked this one's for the third uh, the third hundred and the 308th day of 2011 so i guess this thing's not quite nine years well i don't know some some items might be nine years old some not Oh, we got two whiteners in there, too. Maybe we are supposed to have two cups of uh, sugar or uh, coffee. And there's another sugar. What? This is awesome. Okay. That, is that, could that be right? Gum like that? I don't remember gum like that. Maybe. Uh, what else do we have in here? It's getting interesting. Ooh, pure honey. Nice. Wings food product products. Wings food products out of Toronto, Canada. Twenty grams of pure honey. Pure honey. Honey is very good for you. Uh, antioxidants. It's, it's it's good for all kinds of stuff. Uh, heart health, immune system. Look at this thing. What is this? I have never seen one of these in an IMP before. Creamy caramel Hershey's bar. Wow. Look at that thing. Nice. Best Buy, uh, September of 2012. Holy cow. Whoa, B Temple came in with Old Canada. Good buddy. <laughs> that was a sight to see. That was awesome, dude. Well, thanks for that super chat, B Temple. You guys go check out, check, go check out, go check out B Temple's channel, man. Um, great vintage reviews and stuff over there. 
can't recommend him enough. Good guy. Good guy, too. One of my good friends, so definitely go check that out. Uh, I don't know how to convert the Canadian <laughs> the Canadian currency over, so uh, he sent 15 Canadian dollars over this way, so that's awesome, man. And then Miss Sharon, right before that, Miss Sharon, thank you again. Uh, look at this. Yeah, you know these are going to be probably horrible. Um, first of all, I'm just going to, here, I'll tell you guys here in a second. I got this from Bob. Look at that. Campino apple? It's like a, that doesn't look like apple. Well, I mean, I guess it could be. It's like, it looks like an old um, Lifesaver cream saver. It's like an old cream saver, but it, I guess it's apple flavored. No, that's cherries. What am I? Gosh. Had to look through the camera. Hold it down. It looked like apples. Cherry. I'm a I'm a dummy. I should have known better. Apple. Wouldn't make an apple thing red anyway. Uh, Horny Animal just came in with, hope you're having a great night. Well, thanks, Horny Animal, for the super chat, man. Holy cow. You guys are killing it with the super chats. Appreciate all of the super chats. What else do we have in here? I, I assume that this is this is accurate and correct. Here we have the uh, old Canadian long spoon. That's cheap white plastic spoon. They have upgraded their spoons tremendously. They went from this to that. Like, there's not even, in my mind, there's not even a comparison here. This is like a Dairy Queen Blizzard spoon that breaks whenever you go to try to eat it and this is like a super upgraded mre spoon turned into a spork like this and it this is even longer than the mre spoon so uh they really killed it on their updated spoon design and i kind of wish that the the australians would tweak their spoon a little bit i mean not it, it's it's awesome but i wish they would tweak it a little bit and here's your canadian butt ration uh, I don't know how much you could do with this as far as, uh, you know, taking care of a number two. I guess what you can do here is you open it up like that, and you can separate this like so and turn it into one ply. <laughs> you, know, you can do a, a single layer and have two sheets like this and then take take and rip that into four and you can have eight squares of brown recycled paper napkin and uh you might be able to get by with that i mean those things are like a sheet compared to uh, a lot of other things i mean if you think about like how big a piece of american toilet paper is like you could probably get about the same amount out of this as you can on the sheets except ours is a little softer this has got a, a rough texture to it You've never had one of these napkins before and uh i mean it is it's like it's a proper it's a proper napkin like cover your lap stuff it down in your shirt for a bib um yeah it's a, it's, it's a paper towel yeah it's paper towel size for sure so i don't even know where to put this huge thing i guess i can hang it back here out of my way for now all right what else we got in here look at that we got I, I I miss the days of having the report cards in here that you get to report back to them on oh well, this is not for the correct meal is it this is, this is menu number one not twelve what was menu number one scallop potatoes and ham no hey, there's pizza pasta oh this is that's the year okay IMP twelve okay. So all your menus are on here, I guess. So 2000, that's cool. So there's a whole menu list on here. You got your scalp potatoes with ham, hash browns, uh, and bacon, sausage and hash browns, beans and wieners, breakfast sausages, baked beans, beef ravioli, Salisbury steak. I'd like to try the Salisbury steak. I've never seen one of those before. Uh, I think B Temple might have had one, though, or maybe it was Smitty. Uh, somebody did. Uh, beef pot roast with mushroom sauce chicken and vegetable stew chipotle chicken and then we got the pizza pasta which is obviously this one which is menu number one oddly enough and it's listed clear over here 
that's pretty weird. Anyways, Indian chicken, smoked meat with mustard sauce, gourmet, if I may say so myself. Uh, salmon, chicken and sausage jambalaya, and veal cutlet, cutlet with lemon sauce. I've never even seen that menu. Ooh, I've got to try that. Veal cutlet with lemon sauce. I'll bet you that's amazing. Anyway, you get to uh, fill this thing out. Wee, wee, wee. Oui. No. <laughs> Now to say we it doesn't look like you say it that way, but you do. Anyways, I think this is great. Although now, when you flip the bag over, they got a nice little QR code that you scan with your smartphone, and uh, you know, report your feelings about the meal that way. Man, this thing is heavy. Pizza pasta. Why does this feel so heavy? It says 240 grams, which I mean. That is heavier than a standard MRE main, but uh, it's more than 8 ounces, right? I think 8 ounces is 228, if I'm not mistaken. It's still in the boxes with a date code of the 82nd day right there. See, this is much older than some of the other items in here. One of the items we had was the 300 and something day, so the, t the end of the year. And this is like middle of the third month, like... Boy, that feels chunky. What else do we have here? We have fruit cocktail. There will be one cherry in there. How much you guys want to bet? There will be a cherry, most likely. And that is the entire meal. Oh, nope, take that back. I have not gotten everything out of here. Here is your nice beverage bag with the guts at the bottom. And we also have in here, which I think is awesome, salt and pepper. I didn't know they did that. 2012. And you have a toothpick as well. Nice. Um, yes, the, I've seen, I just looked down and seen, I've seen them bulge before. Yes, I have seen the mains bulge before. Typically, 2013 and 14. I don't know why, but I've seen a lot of mains from 2013 and 14 that, that were puffy. They were fine. It was like they were sealed with a bunch of air in them. I, that's my only explanation for that because the food was fine. So that now, other than the uh, menu list, I guess I could uh, do the do the proper thing here and lay it all out the way it should be, so it can all be seen. One shot. There we go. Close enough, right? good old pizza pasta. I'm going to go heat up the pizza pasta, and I'm going to pull a Nathan. I'm going to heat up the fruit cocktail as well, because uh, we all know that fruit cocktail is better when it's hot, right? <sighs> Whoa, is Fred here? Hey, Fred, I hope you're doing good, buddy. No, uh, anyway, I hope you're doing good. There's like nothing in that. That's like, look, look how skinny. It's got a little tiny bulge to it at the bottom, but like, it's so nothing in there compared to this this is like it's got some it's got some meat to it i was joking about that by the way i'm not going to heat up the fruit cocktail So if any of you guys seen my post earlier, you know that today is the last day I got with the, uh, with the kittens. <clears throat> They're going to their new home tomorrow. Well, partial, uh, temporary home tomorrow.
it makes me sad, but they need a new home. I, I cannot keep them. They have to go to a new home, so. I'll bring them in here in just a little bit. Because they can steal any show, that's for sure. They've just gotten cooler and cooler. Okay. So, coffees and creamers and sugars. Hot sauce, peanut butter and honey. What am I supposed to do with the peanut butter and honey? I'm confused. Now, fruit punch, crackers, candy bar, fruit cocktail, all right. I knew it. I knew it. I tried. Mix it up and put it on the Ritz cracker. Well, <laughs> I have a feeling those Ritz crackers are going to be uh, absolutely horrible. But we'll find out. Let's see what the fruit cocktail is looking like. Um, if Bob has had this thing since like 2014... Which I bet he probably had. Probably had it since since that long, or 2015, something like that. <clears throat> Bob used to travel around a lot to uh, different, like, uh, survival shows and stuff. And uh, throughout the summer, these things would have been in that trailer. And if they traveled a couple summers in that trailer, I'm going to bet that it got some heat. Oops, bump the camera. Is everything okay? Did I miss? I think I missed the super chat. Well, let me see here. And it's not showing me any. Awesome. Let me scroll up, make sure I didn't miss the super chat, guys. No, well, it only let me go so far, so. Earlier it was letting me go all the way back to the beginning. Oh, that's not good. Well, it's definitely dark in color get it dumped out here oh yeah very very dark where's my cherry at there it is what I tell y'all <laughs> uh, I know I don't understand how they can figure out <laughs> it's one every single time it never fails they managed to put one single cherry in the fruit cocktail mix all right let's get some coffee real quick and then as soon as the coffee's done i will probably have to go and get the entree out all right get the coffee here i think it's awesome there was two coffees in here but i do feel like i'm probably missing some sort of a bread item if not a loaf of bread a small loaf of bread something i'm missing or a bun I, I think the loaf of bread started in 13 or 14. so 2012 would have been the loaf of bread um so i i can only imagine that i'm missing that because they wouldn't have given me peanut butter and honey and not given me something to put it on um, the Canadians are not like the Americans when it comes to that. The U.S. will do that to you. They'll give you strawberry jam or something of that nature and not give you anything to put it on. Just like they'll give you tacos and not give you tortillas to wrap it in. So, yeah. Got an IMP hamburger bun. Too bad I can't upload that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I wish I could get that hamburger blow off of you right now. Um, I, I can go in there and get some crackers, though. So, it's not a big deal. I'll go. That's what I'll do. I'll go get some crackers. Some Ritz crackers or something. 
And this isn't the espresso coffee. This is just the uh, standard coffee from the Canadians. And I, uh, I think it's been a while since I've had it, but I think I do like this, but not as good as Coffee Instant or Coffee Instant Type 2. So just set that off to the side. It's probably, it's probably mixed up well enough on its own. Um, by the way, if you guys are looking for cases of First Strike Rations or MREs, right here. Go to foreignmre.com. they got nice, fresh cases. Pick them up. Use code OS10 or Old Smoky 10 to get yourself $10 off, which it's free shipping over there. So if you use the code, I think you get a case for like, it's like 100 bucks shipped or something like that. It's not bad. It's not bad. Put your per meal price at uh, about 8 bucks, about $8 a meal. I mean, that's like going to McDonald's, but you get a full MRE. So, uh, you get a full meal. Oh, boy. Um, let's see. Let's see what these things... I mean, judging by that fruit cocktail, I have a feeling. I hope you're doing good, Fred. I have a feeling these are going to be absolutely horrendous, but... Oh, yeah. They smell like paint. They smell like... Well, they smell like rancid oils, really. It's a very familiar smell to me. Um, rancidity runs thick with this one. Kimosabi. Okay, got to do a fruit punch when I get back. I'm going to grab the main real quick. <laughs> hey, kitty. Did you find a snake? When I went to go get that, the little, the little tiny, the male kitten was there playing with the uh, phone cord, the plug-in cord, like it's a snake or something. Let me go grab them crackers too. I forgot. Man. Okay, there's something there. Yeah, the. Uh, I, I could see them putting the honey in if they gave even if they gave me tea, which they didn't. Which uh, oh. <laughs> he's in there making all kinds of noise. Going with the wall again. Let's do this free punch real quick. Like that yeah, looks okay. A little bit chunky, it looks like. Nothing to be concerned about though. 250 mils, which I think is like oh, about 13 ounces. Say hello. Say hello. Oh, wonder what a baby. He's got huge paws. Here, show him your back feet. Great big old paws. Yeah. He's making noise. Uh, all right, do I have an open bottle of water? I don't, but I'm going to open one right now. All right, okay. It takes about half a bottle of water. I think a bottle of water is... Oh, no. Yeah, a bottle of water is 500 mils, so... Basically exactly half a bottle of water. Just about that much right there. So, yeah, probably like... 10 ounces then, right? I don't know. I have to check on that to verify. We'll say they had a little bit too much food coloring. 
for my liking. Um, not as bad as the U.S. ones, though. So some other, you know, more unique items would be this. The Ritz Crackers, not super common. This little candy, which I think is quite interesting. And also the uh, the Hershey's Bar, which I, I really love the design of that wrapper and stuff. I almost hate to open it because I'm sure it's not going to be all that great once I get it opened up because it has been smashed all to kingdom come. So we'll see. We'll see. Not a whole lot of food here to pick through anyway. So, might be necessary to open it. You guys will tell me what you think, if I need to open it or not. So, I do have crackers to eat peanut butter on and honey. Now, I know some people like to mix honey with peanut butter. I'm not one of those some people. I don't like honey. I don't like sweet peanut butter. Oh. Oh. Look at that piece of sausage. That doesn't look right. Oh, yeah. Oh. That's supposed to be chunks of pepperoni, is it not? Maybe it was just sausage. I don't remember. I don't know. Let's look. Okay, so... First off, I can tell you the color is... Is off. Yeah. Quit with your claws, little one. Huh. Well, I don't know. Kind of smells a little funny. Not gonna play. Not gonna joke around with that. guess now that pasta feels rather al dente um, like more than more than it should be it's quite underdone it feels like it's pretty tough that piece wasn't as tough I don't know it's cutting quite easily with the spoon so I mean it has set in this liquid for over nine years now so uh, let's give it a try hmm Well, it's quite spicy. I mean, it does have it does have a light, a pretty spicy bite to it. A lot of oil separation going on over here. Um, not a whole lot of flavor there, though. I'm kind of curious about what's going on with that. So let me try a little bit more with some sauce. It's good to see you in the chat, Fred. Good to see you. Oh, Mad Dog just uploaded a video, huh? I ain't seen Mad Dog upload a video in a minute. Cool. I'll have to try to check it out. If I remember to check it out. If somebody who's got my number can text me a link to it. I'll remember. I don't know. I don't want to take that big of a bite of that sausage just yet. Because, uh... It does taste kind of funny. It has a almost like a musty flavor on top of the oregano, onion, basil. Uh, you can taste some salt and pepper in there. Uh, kind of infused with the, I guess the sausage. I don't know. The sausage smells the weirdest though. It just doesn't smell right. I don't know. Uh, that's really your first indication whether something's going to be okay or not. Now that could be just because that's how this was made though and I, you know it doesn't it doesn't give off an aroma of shockingly bad or anything like that. It just doesn't smell right. Try the sausage. Let's see. Because they're both <laughs> the wrong color. That's why they both look pink. <laughs> This is uh this started off should have been like a bright red and has went more towards the brown side. And this started off where it should have been a nice whitish clear. The clear the clear liquid and uh, most of the fruit should have been whiter colored. 
uh, yellow, obviously peaches, and um, everything's kind of turned brown. So, yeah. So the sausage, I don't know. I didn't take a big enough bite, I don't think. The sausage is what's spicy there. It's got a little bit of a bite to it. I'm just going to eat half a sausage here and see what, what kind of flavor we get out of it. Hmm. Okay. What can I say about this? It has aged, but not in a good way. All the flavors have became more bland. Uh, the spice is still there, but the flavor of the sausage is, I mean, virtually non-existent. Stay back, Brownie. Um, oh, History Savior. You guys go check out History Savior's channel. Let's get him to 1,000 subscribers. Go subscribe to his channel if you like this type of content and stuff, whatnot. Uh, hope you're well, buddy. Uh, that ration is weird looking. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> Great. <laughs> um, thanks, guys, for just taking all my confidence in eating this thing out the window. Because um, I am very hungry, actually. I haven't eaten anything today. I uh, didn't really eat yesterday either. Uh, I was having issues yesterday. When I couldn't really eat, so... We'll double up. Noodle and snossage down the hatch. Proper bite. Hmm. So no longer than I left that in there to boil. I don't think... It, it does have a little bit of a metallic flavor to it. And I don't think that's from boiling it. I think that is uh, from age and heat stress. So... It's still edible. Barely. I would say barely. I think I can probably eat most of this, though. Hmm. K-Man at MREinfo.com Hey everyone, super late to the party tonight, but I wanted to at least catch the tail end of the live stream. Well, thanks for uh, dropping in, K-Man. Hope you had a good um, cruise tonight. <laughs> Hope that was awesome. Man, thank you so much for that super chat, dude. Hmm. Well, you know, I'm not going to... Wow, look at this. Look at that. Can you guys see the color? I don't know if it's even really coming across on camera. This is brown. Very brown in color. To my na to the naked eye in person here. That that noodle's browner than the rest. You can hardly tell from the camera angle. But that one's darker. Also this one right here. Well, that side of it's lighter. There's the dark side. See how dark? I don't know if you can tell. I guess I could take the camera off. Let's get a close-up of this. Let's just do it. Let's get down in there. Do the dang thing. Can you tell that those noodles are darker? That one. And that one. This one, too, a little bit. But... the sausage which is it's not the right color either really it's way too dark it should have more of a it just ha should have more color to it which I mean anything that sets in in sauce or liquid that long it's going to change colors but uh, typically if it's stored well the flavor won't go go away with the, with the color change but this this has definitely changed its integrity, but uh, it's still edible. So I'm just going to go in for a full on. Uh, I want the, the lighter colored noodles. May, maybe this was two different colored noodles. <laughs> I doubt it, but maybe. 
I can hope. The olives on there, which I'm not a huge fan of anyway. And a little bit of everything. There we go. Mm. Yeah, that. So taking a big bite like that, immediately. That's why I'm talking with my mouth full. Immediately. I could tell it was off, like something, just something's not right. But again, it's not so bad that I don't think it's edible. I do think that it's still food. I like green olives so much better than black olives. I don't know what it is about black olives. The, the flavor is just nothing like I think they should be. I guess what I... My pre, preconceived notion in my head of what they should taste like isn't what they taste like when I eat them. I mean, this has got all kinds of that sausage in there, too. This would be a great meal if it was a little bit fresher. Hmm. Almost forgot about this. Canadian Tabasco. <laughs> Not really, but kind of. Let's see. Oh, that's like a verde sauce. Aged cayenne, red peppers. Vinegar, salt, and garlic. Okay. So I distributed plenty of that right here. More than I should have, probably. Just going to go for it. Hmm. I can't taste it at all. That's weird. Hold on. Mirror needle. Alright. Let's add a little hot sauce to that. Whoa, that's a lot. The hot sauce definitely has a brown color or greenish brown. You guys see that right there? Put too much on there. Oh, just dropped my olive. Awesome. Picking it up. I don't care. All right, let's see what the hot sauce. If it's what's what's going on here? Hmm. Well, that's weird. I honestly can't even tell that I put it on there. No flavor, no heat, no nothing. Just nothing. quite odd well maybe maybe a little bit coming up on the back side yeah it added a little bit of heat <clears throat> maybe it's just that the hot sauce is not hotter than what the sausage itself is as you can see there's some dried tomatoes some sun-dried tomatoes oh, let's see one more bite Yeah, it's it's okay, I guess. It's just not very flavorful anymore. No weird mouthfeels or flavors that would uh, make you call it quits. Nothing crazy. Clean my spoon off here.
Okay. Just seen a super chat fly by there. Holy crap, sunshine. Okay, family is all back with Fred and, and Nay. Happy smoke show, y'all. Well, thank you for the super chat there. It is great to see Fred back in the chat. Absolutely. And Miss Renee's in here, too. I didn't see Miss Renee in here. I, I know I texted her. She said she had to work. So, good to see Miss Renee in here if she's in here. All right. Um, I didn't miss another super chat before that one, too. Also, did I? Let's see if it'll show me. Nope, it won't show me. It only shows me one. Love it. Love that. Love that. Love that. It only goes back so far. All right. Fruit cocktail time. Nope. Cleanse my palate time. Let's do the uh, fruit punch. Why not? Let's see. Mmm. Very refreshing. And fruity. A lot of um, what tastes like cherry or maybe like cherry strawberry mix. Berry of some kind. Yeah, that's 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 really nice, actually. I'm usually not a huge fan of the fruit punches, but that fruit punch right there is actually really good. Not too subtle, but not too overpowering with its fruity flavor. Uh, the sweetness level, in my opinion, is just right. So if I'd have added much more water than that, though, it would have been it wouldn't have been good. So before I get to these, which I, I'll probably do that last, um, because I know that's gonna that's gonna tear my mouth up uh, my palate will be wrecked so <laughs> we got that looks like might be a pear and that used to be a peach and there's uh i guess that was a grape i don't know oh it's so soft oh Well, there you go. There's your, uh, uh, what was a, a grape at one point. Here's the, what was a peach, and it is so soft to the touch. It's, it's odd. Like, it's weird. It, it even seems to be holding its structure, but it's, like, extremely velvety soft and gelatinous to the touch and then the pear which has a little bit better texture to it but not much I don't know let's go down the hatch with this yeah so that actually does taste uh, somewhat rotten. I don't know how to how to describe that flavor any other way. Oh boy, just none of this looks right. I mean, I've eaten fruit work was much older than this before, but it looked better than this. Ooh. So the textures of the pear. It's still a little bit gritty like it should be. But it also has this strange dryness to it. That, uh, and it has a flavor also that's going along with it. I should have just tried each piece on its own because I think each piece has a pretty unique flavor coming out of this. And that's not typical of fruit cocktail like that. Mm. The peach is where the bad flavor is coming from. I could tell you immediately, as soon as I ate that. So the, the pear tastes okay, kind of, mainly. Mainly tastes okay. But the, the peach has this kind of strange, strange flavor to it. It's almost like a... I would uh, kind of musty, I would say. 
musty, mildewy, I don't know. I mean, it, it, it's barely fruity or tangy or sweet. It's just extremely bland. Again, the age has just killed the flavor in that. So, I'm going to move on. Uh, I don't need the salt and pepper here. So, give this a quick little stir. Our Canadian, good old Canadian coffee. Give that a try. Oh yeah, that's that's fantastic right there. Absolutely great. Crackers, I got crackers here somewhere. Sebastian, you gotta quit jumping down, bro. Seriously. I think these are just Ritz, pretty sure. Get a few of these bad boys out. And get this peanut butter kneaded up. If I can get it started here. There we go. Oh yeah, there we go. I've never had Canadian peanut butter or American peanut butter go bad on me. I've watched videos where people said that the peanut butter was bad. I don't believe them. Uh, I've had peanut butter that was horribly stored. Horribly stored. And still tasted perfect. Doesn't matter whether it's a retort or a can. I don't think peanut butter that is in a sealed... Um, either retort or can can go bad. Peanut butter in a jar absolutely can go bad. I've had bad peanut butter from a jar that was one of the worst things I ever had. It was absolutely horrendous. So, I don't really know if I should just, I don't want to just eat honey on cracker, but I guess I will. I mean, it's just not my thing, but hate to waste some good honey, but I, I won't waste it. I'll eat it all. Because honey doesn't go bad, and that is pure honey. So, as you guys know, like I just said, honey does not absolutely, 100%, if it's pure honey, will not, cannot go bad. It's not even possible. Ain't seen sticky fingers in the chat, but hey, Peanut buddy, sticky fingers, nonetheless. It's pretty crappy peanut buddy, but it's because the peanut butter is so smooth. I couldn't get it to really spread, uh, separate. All right, here we go. Let's try the peanut butter down the hatch. Mmm. It's the best thing I've eaten so far. The drinks are great, too. I mean, this isn't bad. That's bad. That's not good. It's edible. You could eat this. I did eat that. I could eat the rest of it. I would do it just to prove a point, even, if someone tried to say I couldn't. But, um... It's just, I mean, it's just not, not tasty. Pretty bland. Peanut butter, very smooth, creamy, peanut buttery, very peanutty. Lightly sweet, I would say. Yeah. It does have a little bit of sweetness to it. You know, it's not too much, though. It's... Honestly, like really, if you're going to sweeten your peanut butter at all, you can't do it any more than what they do it here. If you do it any more than this, it's going to be offensive in my to my palate. Everybody's different. Though. A lot of people like sweet, sweeter peanut butter. I'm just not one of those people. You 
Yeah, the peanut butter tastes perfect. Just like the day that it was packaged. On to the honey. The humble peanut can feed the world. You ever heard, did you got any of you guys ever hear that? We sang it. We used to sing it. About a bad peanut. Found a peanut. Found a peanut. It ends up putting someone in the hospital or something. <laughs> I can't remember how the song goes other than that little bit. I can't remember the words. Never heard that. It must be an Iowa thing. What's the Iowa thing? I know they say uh, potatoes can feed the world. From what I learned from Ashen's peanut butter in Japan and maybe the UK isn't as sweet as what we in the U.S. eat. Well, I it depends on what kind of peanut butter you eat because peanut butter I eat doesn't have any added sugar. Uh, the peanut butter that's in United States military MREs doesn't have any added sugar. It's just peanut butter, or well, peanuts, and they they have their own oils also. So if you just crush peanuts, pulverize them, and uh, you know obviously make them into a butter, you don't have to do anything. Like you really don't have to do anything. They will just turn they just turn into peanut butter. You just grind them up, they turn into peanut butter. You can add a little tiny tiny bit of oil to them if you want, but you don't have to because uh. Peanuts are full of fat and oils. So, all right, here we go. Look at that. Not crystallized in the slightest. Looks rather dark for honey, honestly. It's not very golden in color or anything. I don't want that leaking out all over the place. But as you can see, it's quite, quite runny for honey. In my opinion, a lot of times honey will be thicker than this. And it says it's pure honey. No ingredients or anything on there. So it's not going to tell me anything else about this said honey. But, uh, I don't know, let's give it a try. Down the hatch. Seems like a very standard flower honey. Mm hmm It's not bad. It's uh, exactly what you would think. Sweet. Nice honey flavor. Let's see if I can make a quick outline with this peanut butter here. And then put a little bit of this in the middle here. Yeah, this would be really good in some tea. I don't think it would go well with coffee, really, per se. A little bit of peanut butter mixed with the honey. Like I said, I'm not really a big on this. My buddy's dad used to live next door to me. And I kind of helped take care of him. But that was all he would eat. He would mix honey with peanut butter. And he'd mix it up in this pretty good sized bowl. And that's what he would survive off of. Peanut butter and honey sandwiches. That was it. Like He'd eat that every single day. He drove me crazy. I tried to get him to eat other food. He just would not. But uh, I don't know. Have never had tried. Bo yeah, I've, tri I've tried boiled peanuts before. Didn't know how to eat them to begin with, um, which, I mean, you can just eat the whole thing if you want to try that, but it sucks that way. <laughs> That's what I've done. It was stupid. But, uh, eh, yeah, they're okay, I guess. That's definitely a, uh, a regional culture type thing. It's if, you're, if you don't come from an area where those things are common, because where, where I'm from, they're, they're not common, and you try to eat them, they just... 
it's it's very it's a very I, odd experience, but it's an experience that I enjoyed because I like to uh, I like to try new things like that. Anyway, here we go. Yeah. I mean, it's, it, it ain't bad. I just don't like the flavor of the honey mixed with the peanut butter. In my opinion, it even actually gives it like a little bit of bitterness. I mean, it's sweet also, but the actual flavor of the honey becomes this, gets a little bit of bitterness to it that I don't really enjoy too much. I'm going to have one more to go swig of coffee. Whoa. Look at that. Parts of that's moving separate from, like, the under layer. Can you guys see it? It's so weird. Hmm. That creamer did not mix up right. Huh. It must have been heat stressed as well. I mean, it tastes fine. It's actually a good cup of coffee. Carla, are you from Australia? Because <laughs> the only people I know that love Vegemite are from Australia. I know Steve ate a big old spoonful of it one time, but... There, he didn't love it. <laughs> Trust me. Um, Vegemite is also an acquired taste. It's uh, something you kind of really had to grow up on. Just straight up yeast. Salty, salty yeast extract. Concentrated yeast. What's the British version called? There's Vegemite and uh, um, somebody in the chat tell me because it's going to break my brain. <laughs> I'm trying to think of it. Marmite. That's it. I could not think of it <laughs> for some reason. It's like the British stuff. <laughs> you know. That stuff is British, like, it's exactly like, well, it's not exactly, it's pretty daggone close. Marmite and Vegemite are extremely similar. I would call Marmite, like, Vegemite's little sister. It's it's pretty, pretty tame in comparison, in my opinion. I think it's just, it's the tamer of the two. I think Vegemite's the hardcore, um... Uh, of, I don't know, the more extreme of the two. Let me go get my little buddies, because it'll be the last time that, uh, last time that you guys can see them. I guess I can eat that thing too. Get this tray out of the way. Oh, nope, 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 forgot. So I gotta at least try one of these. Um, I'm going for a middle one. Because that'll be the, the best chance of it. Which I can already tell you from the smell. That it's it's gonna be it's gonna suck. It's gonna suck really bad. It's pretty stale. But there's a look inside. Somewhat of a cross section. Hey, you guys that are still in here real quick. Uh, Gusto signed up for a Iron Man tomorrow. He's in it tomorrow. And he was telling me that there's an app that you can download. Like Athlete Tracker or something like that. Let me see. And don't guys, don't forget about the uh, uh, Military Ration Museum live stream tomorrow. Where is he? Where is he? Here he is. Let me see here. Um, let's see. He said there's an app called Iron Man Tracker. It's free, and you can track any athlete. 
and his number is 1242. So, and it's in the Tulsa Ironman. So, Tulsa, Oklahoma, I assume. Tulsa Ironman. His bib number is 1242. Anybody like to track Gusto on that uh, Ironman tomorrow? Give it a try. Uh, downloading that app, and I'm going to do it. I'm going to I'm going to download it, and we'll uh, we'll talk about him. <laughs> if you guys come over there, we'll talk about his progress whenever we're over on the the live stream for the museum tomorrow. All right, I'm going to give this another smell because that is a very distinguishable smell, and it it just smells like rancid fats and oils. It smells. Uh, I ate something on a few things on eating history that smelled just like this, and uh, Pringles, the Pringles that we ate that were still good, they still tasted absolutely great. Had this same scent but much lighter. Uh, it just wasn't wasn't as predominant. Uh, it looks nasty, Miss Sharon. You you are correct. That's because it probably most likely is going to taste horrible. Um, it smells horrible, but uh, smells have tricked me before. So I'm going to just bite off this corner with one half of the cracker and cheese there. And we'll see. Okay, very stale. Salty. First two things I get. Okay. Wow. Whoa. I want to spit this out. Uh, extremely sour and uh, bitter. Oh, that's horrible. That's actually much worse than I even thought it would be. I'd already chewed it up. So much, there was no point in trying to spit that out. It was either just to rinse it down. Uh, my mouth is coated with the rancid oils. <sighs> that was the most sour uh, and bitter flavor that I've had in my mouth in a while. It's pretty extreme as far as how rancid that is. Okay, now I'm done. Let me take this, get it out of the way, and I'll, I'll get the Rugrats. One of them in here, black one. Is that it? Hey guys. Okay, here we go. There's the yeller. Calico. Tiny black one. And gray guy. Alright. Camera up a little bit here. This one right here is still just drinking milk. Bot formula. Bottle bottle feeding. Yeah, you don't need to be digging around in that. What I do with the lid to this thing? What did I do with the lid to this thing? Hmm. Huh. Please don't knock that down, honey. Oh well. Okay, 
until Alex needs to find the key to the blade sword. Fred. Well, good night, Kitty, Smokey, and all fine people. I love you all. Peace. Well, Fred, have a good night, buddy. I hope you get get you some rest. I hope you're doing good, man. Uh, hadn't heard back from you in there in a while, so I didn't really know what was going on. But uh, it's been probably a month, month and a half ago or longer uh, that I told talked to everybody here on the live stream about it, about you going in the hospital and stuff. So. Candy. Got a piece of candy here. Campino. Campino? Yeah, that's an interesting little piece of candy. And chocolate bar. Almost 10 years old now. Sebastian, dude, stop that. So typically, um, a 2012 MRE, let's say, I wouldn't have too much fuss about trying that out. You know, I just, I wouldn't have to think much about heat stress, and uh, although it can happen, but it had to be some extreme conditions. Whereas the IMP doesn't take quite as extreme conditions for it to not age well. Uh, the chocolate bar, it, it kind of looks all right, but it, I can tell you that it's rather smashed. <laughs> so, and it's got the caramel inside. So the, all the caramel is most likely just squeezed out of this thing and oozing. Cause I can tell, like, I can feel all the bottoms are busted out. It melted. Oh yeah. See, look. See that? Let's stick my finger way in there. Way down in there. Yeah. So the caramel. I would have a, a very hard time even getting this out of the wrapper, I can promise you. Because I can just tell by trying to move it around. There's nothing on the ends, but the middle is nothing but leaked caramel stuck to the wrapper and the chocolate. Yeah, that's not pulling away from the candy bar at all. Yeah, I don't even know if I want to mess with it. Kind of pointless. I mean, I could open it and try to pull it away but did i miss a super chat guys i think i may have well nope can't it's not gonna let me check it that way well dang it guys if i missed a super chat i'm sorry and it won't let me go back any further uh wonder if freezing it would help in the opening uh you're yeah you know what daniel probably would actually kind of like you do with the with bubble gum, if you get it on your carpet or something, if you freeze it, you can pull it off there. It's probably the same way with caramel. You can probably pull it away from that wrapper a whole lot easier. It depends on the caramel, too. If, or caramel, however you want to pronounce it. If uh, if this is like the gooey type, depending on how sticky or what its consistency is, it might pull right away. Um, like if it's more like taffy. But if it's like, uh, you know, more to the thinner, on the thinner side, which I bet this kind of is, it would probably just be a mess. So, I don't know. It might just end up being a, a nice shelf piece to go up along with the other candy bars that I have up there. Like, uh, I've got the Yorkie bar up there that's 20... It's not 20. It's 16, 17 years old. Then I got an old Mars bar up there from a uh, MRE that came out of a 86, I think. Uh, yeah, 86 or 87. I've uh, got a chocolate fudge bar up there, a coconut bar up there. A desert bar, which uh, a lot of people don't know. Oh, man. Dang it. Just knocked that piece of candy down. The desert bar. Not a dessert bar, but a desert bar. Guys, they're just chewing on the microphone. Quit chewing on the microphone. Stop it. We're going to tear it up. Here, play with the spoon. Hey, here, ah, here. Play with the spoon. There you go. Here, you want one? You want a spoon? I got plenty of them. Here. There you go. Anybody, anybody else want a spoon? You want a spoon? Here, turn around there. The desert bar. Came out 
during Desert Storm back in the late 90s, early 2000s. Basically, it's, I mean, it's very similar to a Hershey's Tropical Bar, Hershey's Food Corporation, Hershey PA. They made a bunch of these and handed them out during Desert Storm to the U.S. military. A lot of Marines got these. And uh, some of them made them back to the States. They weren't really supposed to be for sale, as far as I understand. Let's see. Hang on. Special formulation for desert or tropical conditions. These weren't supposed to go on sale at retail. Um, I, this that might be from like a flea market or something. Somebody had old grocery stamp tags or whatever. But the Hershey's Desert Bar is an interesting one. Uh, got tropical bars. Also, I've got uh, three different types. Uh, the only three types that I know of I've got the red text, the blue text, and then the later 70s, 80s uh, text that was kind of an odder looking, um, just an, a, a weirder looking bar. Oh, come here. Look at everybody. She's such a sweetheart. She's she's so good. And this one right here. This this one I've never had a kitten or a cat that loved to cuddle like this one does. Put my face up against her or whatever, and she just cuddles against me and loves me. Don't you? She's very cool. Very cool. She's a, probably going to be a pretty little cat, too. Don't chew on that board. <laughs> Don't chew on that board. You can chew on the spoons, guys. Right. Oh, no, nope, easy, guys. Nope. Why would you run towards that? Step back. Nope. Stay there. Don't go in there and hide. Okay. The gray one jumped down? Here. I don't know where the other one went. The orange one. I went into the chair. Go on, Stella. your mama fighting with the old cat Minnie. Oh, come here buddy okay get up there all right we're all back yep these little ones are are going to their new home tomorrow I hope that they find a new a good new home um, the lady that's taking them is she runs basically handles a rescue and she said that they will go to a home where they'll be inside and they'll have they'll have good owners so I didn't want to send them someplace either that where they'd get thrown outside and they wouldn't know what to do I mean I'm sure they would learn I'm sure they could learn but uh, that also, when you do that to a cat that's been raised inside, you go throw one outside. They, a lot of times they get hit because they don't know how to react to cars. And these little guys have never seen a car. They've never even seen a car. Have you guys? No, you just stay right there. You don't need to go nowhere, gray guy. I don't know what you got in your hair. I noticed that a little bit ago. I'm going to have to get that out of there. what that is buddy <laughs> I 
none of them shed or anything. I'm, I don't think kittens really shed or anything, so no fur coming off of them or anything. I guess you guys would help if you could see them. No, you stay up here. What are you looking at, dude? What are you looking to do? Get into trouble. You're always looking to get into trouble. He is, uh... I mean, you can tell his disposition is much different than the other three, which are females. He is, uh... He's a prowler. He's always on the look for something to get into and, uh, be mischievous with. And, uh, she's probably one of... She's She's probably the most chilled out one. The black one back here is second. And the black one loves me because I give it bottles. <laughs> so, it, it loves me. And, uh, no, dude. Stay. Just stay. Let me scoot you guys back a little bit. There you go. Get it, buddy. Get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. Can't believe you don't want to play with that. Oh, G. Schultz make it. Here, I'm gonna scoot you back a little bit, honey, so people can see you. There you go. So just so I can see you too. There you go. I'm going to pick up that spot on the board. Yeah, I really appreciate all you guys sending in Super Chats tonight. Uh, very much appreciated. And everybody who went, came and spent some time with me. And uh, don't forget to hit that thumbs up or down, either way. It really helps with the Google uh, stupid algorithms that they have. And uh doesn't matter what my titles are anymore, what the thumbnails look like. It doesn't matter. They don't promote them. They don't promote anything. Of mine, anyway. Which is, I mean, it is what it is. I'm, I'm glad that you guys are still around. That, uh... A lot of people just go, they go away because they don't get notified. They forget. Oh, cool. J.R. Cal... Caldoon? Caldoon? J.R. Caldoon. Well, thank you for the uh, super chat and the uh, little emoji there that says bye-bye. <laughs> That's cool. Little kitties. Yeah, it's saying bye-bye to the kitties. It's the last time that, uh, that they'll be making an appearance here on a live stream or anything because uh, they're going to a new home tomorrow. They're going to have better lives. Well, they'll have different lives somewhere else. I just can't keep them. I just can't. It's not even... Not even on the uh, roster of possibilities. So, I'm glad that I found them all homes. That, well, I didn't find them all homes. The foster home that they're going to will place them in homes. And she actually works with having them moved across the country even, from what I understand. Like, they, they could end up in California. I mean, they're all... It, it, this is definitely the most unique kittens that I've ever had. They're always, almost always, either all black or tuxedo, because that's what the males were that ran around here, were tuxedo cats, and uh, there's an all black cat. There's two all black cats. One, neither one of the all, well, there is an all black cat that's mine, but he's fixed. And then there's another stray black cat that comes around here, he is not fixed, and he is the meanest cat, period, that I've ever had around, ever. Ever been around, ever had around, whatever. Absolute demon. And, uh, then there's another black cat next door that's not fixed. Well, not next door, but pretty close to next door. 
And then there's uh, I come to find out. So I have an orange cat that showed up here that had a color that was actually grown into its neck. Uh, that cat showed up here right before I left for the first time for eating history, I think. Or no, or maybe it was it was even after that. I can't remember. I think it was like maybe before Thanksgiving or Christmas or something. And I was getting ready to leave again. And that cat showed up and I caught it. I had seen it around for a month or two, but I, I could not get near it. And for some reason this day, it let me catch it. It let me. Like it, it didn't, like it knew what was going on. It let me catch it. And I brought it into the house and I cut that collar and then proceeded to have to cut it out of him. And it was so nasty and infected and now he has a permanent ring around his neck a scar uh, scar tissue where fur doesn't grow around his neck um, but I think he is the daddy to this little girl right here this little orangetta and uh, then there is also another orange cat that I just saw for the first time three days ago which looks like it's someone's house cat he looked very healthy uh, he had a collar on and he was much darker orange than the orange one that I cut the collar out of. And uh, I call him Garfield because he's orange. I mean, it's not very original, but it, it works. And he knows his name now. And he lets me pet him now and stuff like that. He does, He's not allowed in the house or anything. But uh, he, uh, maybe you guys, I don't know how many people in, in the chat right now know much about cats or anything like that. But I have went as far as to put a cone on this cat. You know, like the ones that they put on at the vet. I've put a cone on this cat for like two weeks straight before. Kept it on him. I'd take it off of him, let him eat and stuff. And then, and then I'd put it right back on him. Because he digs holes in his ear. Like he has all the the hide ripped off of behind his ears right here. And I assume like ear mites or whatever but i don't see he his ears are dirty but i clean them out i don't know what else to do for him i don't know what i could do for him chris divers in kentucky yeah the orange cat the orange one out there he's had he's had it rough man uh, sweet oil huh is that K-Man with a different profile? With two ends? Sweet oil. Do I put it in it or on, on his, like, uh, back of his cheeks? Do I put, like, is there, or is it something I need to put in his ears? Warm sweet oil on a cotton ball. Okay, and then... No, no, I, I am a cheek. What? On the cheek, you mean? Are in the ear. Oh, you're a chick. Oh, <laughs> okay, sorry. <laughs> okay. <sighs> okay, so just wipe it with sweet oil. What is that, Amber? I don't know what sweet oil is. I've never heard of sweet oil before, but I will look that up. I uh, assume it's something you can buy at the grocery store. That's what it sounds like, and I will definitely give that a try. Because I, I, I feel sorry for him. I mean, I could go out there and get him. And he's, he's all the time fighting with other male cats that are around. Uh, Got to take him and get him fixed. And obviously, I'll have the vet look at his ears when I have him there. Which is kind of getting ready to... That's getting ready to happen. Because as soon as these guys right here go bye-bye, the other ones are, are going to start taking vet trips. So... Uh, the mom to these ones, she's going to get fixed. Uh, she's an old cat. I have a feeling she's probably the oldest cat here. She's, it, my guess is, she's probably 12 to 13 years old. She seems very old. But, uh, I'm going to get her fixed, and, uh, that way she can have no more babies, anyway. 
and hopefully I can uh, continue to get updates on these guys once they move on find out where they end up and uh, what kind of cats they turn into and I offered to keep this one and, and continue to bottle feed it until it started eating food but she said that she's bottle feeding two other kittens right now and she could take it so I'm just going to let her take it <sighs> going to miss it even though it's a pain in my butt bottle feeding it and stuff and they're, they're very needy they're not as needy now as they were but uh, they're still pretty needy and she's going to end up absolutely a, a beautiful cat she's spot the her markings are really starting to pop especially on her arms and stuff up here and her, her I'm telling you her disposition is just the best she's the most gentle loving cat She's even more lovely than the one I kept out of the the litter that we had before, which is Brownie, which is, she's laying right here beside me sleeping right now. <laughs> uh, she, she's been my baby uh, ever since she was a little baby. And she she's a good cat, though. She's a really good cat. She doesn't do anything wrong or doesn't tear stuff up or anything like that. So she she's a good cat. Anybody in the chat right now who hadn't hit that thumbs up or down, if you don't mind to do that, I would highly, highly appreciate it. Helps the uh, helps the whole algorithm thing. If uh, I know sometimes you don't want this video or this live stream ending up in your liked videos, I get it. Uh, totally understand. So, but if you don't mind, then yeah, sure, hit that thing up or down. I don't. I don't tell you how to vote. <laughs> just, just vote up or down. This one likes this. It likes to play. Yeah, don't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll probably. I'll try to take a little video of them playing tonight because it'll be the last time I get to get to have them all together playing. So, yes. Yeah, you want to play? Oh, look at you. I went in there where I had the boiling water on and had taken, turned it off and moved the pot over out of the way. The burner was still probably t too warm, I would think, in my opinion. I would think it would be. But I got when I went in there, this one had hopped up on the stove. It had never done this before. It's the first time I'd ever seen it up there. It The gray one back here was laying up there on the burner lucky it didn't get burnt and I even thought about that when I moved that pot off there but I was like eh it won't get up there surely not but yep it did but the whole sweet oil thing I'm definitely gonna have to check that out uh, Mila 17 and a half years old holy cow if that's a cat that's or a dog that's really old for a cat or a dog uh, Marilyn says any oil Okay, so I can use any oil. Uh, wipe the ear. Okay, I will do that. I'm definitely going to try that. Maybe just to help keep it moisturized. Uh, okay, Miss Gale says Helichirism. Helichirism? Helichirism oil on your cat's ear, Smokey. Safe for use. I'm going to look that up right now so I have it in my search history. Okay. Guys, don't forget about Dub C running that Iron Man tomorrow. I don't think he could make the chat tonight. He's probably getting all uh, pumped up and geared up <laughs> for his... Uh... Thank you for that super chat, by the way, Miss Gale. And the uh, the advice here. Helia C-H-Y-R S-U-N Helia Trism? Heliotrism, I cannot pronounce that. Heliotrism oil. Okay, I'm seeing that it's saying to, to put it on scars and stuff. Wild crafted heliotrism oil sourced from nature straight from the distiller. So it's distilled. Pure bulk certified organic anti inflammatory. Lowest price pure essential oils. 
so it's like an essential oil. Vitality extracts, endless combinations. Is that what they use for bait the base of uh, making these like essential oils? Do they just add other additives into the that oil as a base? Yeah, see you, Junior. Awesome, G. Thank you. Time to run off. Y'all have a fine evening. All right, Jr. See you later. Thank you for uh, the super chat earlier and stopping by. I appreciate it. Sorted food. Uh, curious Pete says hoping to go live Friday if anyone's around. So G. Schultz might go live on Friday. I will uh, make a post about that on my channel, obviously, if he does that. What was the bib number? Got it. Hang on, just one second. I believe, yeah, I believe it was 1242. There he is. Yep, 1242. The Tulsa Iron Man. So the app is called Iron Man Tracker. It's free. You can track any athlete. Bib number is 1242 in the Tulsa Iron Man. But yeah, you guys, uh, tomorrow, the Rash Museum live stream, come over there, hang out. We'll, uh, we'll talk about Gusto's uh, progress. I assume an Iron Man, that's going to take him all day, I would assume. I mean, that's probably, what, a 10 to 14, 16 hours. Don't you run, like, 25 miles on an Iron Man? Or is that just a marathon? I thought an Iron Man was, like, mixing. How long does it take to do an Iron Man? 17 hours, typically. Most Iron Man races allow you, oh, that's how long they allow you, 17 hours to compete. All three parts of the race, usually the race begins at 7 a.m. You're expected to finish the swim in 2 hours and 20 minutes. The bike ride is done by 5.30 and the marathon completed by midnight. Whoa. Holy cow. So you're talking after you do the swim, you start your run by 6 o'clock and you got 6 hours of running. So, wow. Yeah. Essential oils are derived from... From the same plant, the uh, Datura, the Datura, pure is pure one hundred percent. That is the best. But I can send you some if you want smoking. Uh, Miss Gail, I wouldn't say no to that, but I, I don't know where I would get it other than to order it online. Unless you have like an abundance of it, I would surely take some for that and use on that cat. I don't know what they're going to tell me when I take him to the vet. And he's not going to be happy about me packing him up into a bag and trying to take him to the vet. Cause, like I said, he's a wild cat, kind of. I mean, I've somewhat tamed him. He does not trust me still to this day, even though I've done nothing but help him. He doesn't trust me. He's just, over the past few months, came to the point where he would he allows me to pet him. But, uh, yeah, he he's, uh, he's not going to be happy when I try to take him somewhere. And the gray guy, this one back here, little gray guy's dad, which was, he's the most recent stray to show up, and he had to be someone's cat that just showed up here, because he was super clean and healthy looking, and uh, most of the time when one shows up like that here, it's, it's pretty beat up and in bad shape, and I gotta rehab him back to, back to health, so... <laughs> These two. <laughs> oh, you're silly. You're silly. You're silly. Oh, you're going to lay there with your sisters. You're going to cuddle up there with your sisters. Oh. You guys are too stinking cute. Oh. Yeah, you're going to play with that. All right, guys. Guess I'm going to round out this live stream, and uh, yeah, I th thank you, Miss Sharon. But uh, hey, <laughs> people in my house would argue I don't like having these cats uh, because there's just there's too many of them. Uh, they stay outside, but at the same time, it's like, and, and I know that they're okay, and they do keep any kind of mice, rats, anything like that away from my house. If it wasn't for them, I can promise you, right now I would have mice. I guarantee it. Because they just cut the field out back and there will be mice showing up with their heads chewed off or their bodies gone with nothing but a head at my back door in the next few days. It'll it'll be a progression of 
rodents showing up that uh, the cats catch and they don't want to present to me. So, I mean, they're good to have around, I guess, out back. Uh, I just I wish I could find homes for the ones that are out there because I feel like they all deserve a nice inside home that I'm not I'm not giving them <laughs> I'm not giving them an inside home they they stay on my back porch I keep them out of the weather if it gets really cold well, obviously I'll let them all in but uh, it's got to get cold for me to let them all in but all right guys so thanks. Again, to each and every person that sent in a super chat tonight, don't forget if you need a case of MREs or first strike rations to go over to foreignmre.com. Pick up your case, you code, use code OS10 or Old Smoky10 to get yourself $10 off your order. Uh, $10 off of each case, not just your order. $10 off of each case that you order, you get 10 bucks off of each one. So, uh, Also, Minotaur, if you guys go to Minotaur, you use the same code OS10. You get 10% off of your entire order. You guys can do that. Uh, I like to pass along the savings to anybody who wants to use them. I think it's it's cool that I get to be able to do that. Uh, don't I don't say it much, but I don't benefit from that at all, other than the fact of getting to pass along savings to you guys. So, I mean, I don't get any kickbacks or anything like that from. That's what I meant by that. Uh, all right. So tomorrow, live stream military ration museum. Gusto's running uh, the Iron Man, and uh, I assume the live stream will be around 5 o'clock. I did put a link to that at the very beginning of this. Well, not the very beginning. Pretty close to the beginning of this live stream in the chat. If somebody wants to go back and try to find that, probably 10 to 15 minutes in, something like that. Uh, but if not, you'll be able to find the Raps Museum live stream. There's already it should, it should come up right now, and you can set a reminder for it tomorrow, as a matter of fact. So... Yeah, there's that. I want to say a huge thanks to my patrons. Thank you guys so much for uh, all your help over there. I have been working at trying to buy some rations. Just a few things have gotten that I've been on lately have just honestly they've gotten above what I felt that I was comfortable paying for. Them. Um, I'm not going to pay ridiculous prices just because. The money came in through Patreon. I feel like that that that'd be disrespectful to to use your guys' money in that way because that's that's the reason that that Patreon's there is to get things for the channel that will turn into videos. I mean, I'm backlogged with things that I can use for videos, anyways. But I, there's a couple things that I would definitely like to get and do videos on. A World War II K ration being one of those, a full unopened or opened in in very good shape K ration. But all right, guys. Uh, I guess now, really, all I got left to do is say thank you guys for watching, and I'll see y'all on the next live stream. Later.